Hey everyone, welcome to Lumion Pro 2023. In this video, I'm going to show you all the new additions so you can decide for yourself if it's worth upgrading to Lumion 2023 or if you should stay using your current version or look for a different software. So let's jump right in. Lumion has added a few new updates which could be game changing for you or might not matter at all. So the first update that they added is based on the UI. They improved a lot of the stuff. They made it much easier to place and move objects. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at that. For example, if I were to design, uh, select this sofa, I'm gonna go to objects and select it. We can now snap sofas and other objects to any wall or any surface area that we want to. So this just makes moving objects around much easier. Now it might not be really handy with this chair, but it could be handy with the sofa we have right here. For example, if you want to, to move it near the wall or, or if you want to place it back right here. This means you don't have to rotate and um, move things left and right to get it just right. Now on top of that, Another cool update is with the people and animals. If you have an, a, a human or a character which is sitting uh, and you want to place it, uh, you will see that it automatically snaps now to the surfaces. Now, if I were to find another character, we can automatically see that the character gets placed on the sofa exactly the way he should be placed. And this just makes placing characters now much more intuitive than it was previously. All right, now that we have these updates out of the way, let's take a look at materials. Because Blend, um, Lumion now has finally um, added a full PBR workflow. That means if you select a material, you can now add different maps for different parts of your material. So for example, reflectivity, metalness, emissive, displacement, opacity can all be loaded in through maps. And you also have what you initially had, the texture, relief, and roughness. On top of that, we now also have subsurface scattering and clear coat. If you don't know what these are, I would advise you to Google them, but simply put, they can make certain type of objects look much more realistic than they currently do. All right, next up is the big boy that Lumion has been promoting for a while now and that everyone was asking about, and that is the ray tracing function, uh, which was um, something that a lot of people wanted. Now, I can imagine that this is not the final ray tracing, but uh, I'm glad that it's here because it just adds a lot to Lumion's lighting and how it looks. For example, I'm now doing an updated preview with 288 uh, samples and I can of course lower or higher this and I can also decide how many light bounces I want. Light bounces basically mean how many times light bounces off a certain surface. To give you a better example I'm going to go to the office area where we have these two characters and I already made a preview render for everyone so we could save some time. And if you were to look at these renders, we can see the one with ray tracing and the one without ray tracing. We can already see that lighting looks much more realistic with ray tracing on. We have the light bounces, which bounce on this red area, to the walls, to the floor, and it just makes the whole scene feel more realistic than the old method of rendering. Now, of course, using ray tracing just takes much more time. So keep that in mind and see if it's worth a worth trade off when you're using it. I'm going to go to video mode or movie mode, and we're going to take a look at some of the other elements which they have added. To make it a bit easy for myself, I'm going to turn off ray tracing. I'm going to go to a new empty uh, movie frame or movie clip, and we now also have add camera pre, uh, preset paths. If we click on this, we see that we have four options. Uh, the first one is an orbit path, and if I click on it and just zoom out, I'm just gonna move my mouse over here. I can click on focus point, add a focus point right there, 
And if I move again, I can see that we now have a camera and it has a focus point that it's going to focus on. And we can, of course, adjust a lot of the stuff here. For example, we can say that the radius um, should be uh, much, much less. For example, maybe five. And it should be at maybe one meter height. And this could be too much still. Let's move it to two. And we could technically now go to uh, on our on pad camera and play. And we see that we have an orbit pad in our scene. We can, of course, change it a bit, place it on a more strategic position that makes our scene look better. Maybe we want it right here and we can play it and we get our orbit without having to do any animation or worry about how the camera works. We just have to input what we want. Another element which they added is the dolly shot, which you can now also choose from beginning to the end point. They also added pan tilt shot. Now this is not the most cool area, but uh, <laughs> you get the point. And a follow object. A follow object is handy if you have something animated and if you want it to follow along. Uh, in this case, we, we don't have any object to follow and our camera has been placed way outside of our uh, scene. But these are some cool new additions that Lumion has added. And these are basically the really big additions. Of course, they have added around 98 to 100 new materials and there have been uh, improvements here and there. Uh, but keep in mind that this is basically... Um, the, the, the biggest functions that you need to know about. Now, something else that you would like to know is the benchmark. To give you an idea, these are my specs right now. And um, this is what Lumion is currently recommending. I hope this video helps you to get a good idea of the new uh, tools which have been added to Lumion so you can make a decision for yourself to upgrade or not upgrade. If you have any questions regarding Lumion Pro 2023 and if you want me to test something for you, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.